Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very very interesting bodybuilding updates and as you can see we are starting with a physique update of Nick Walker and I gotta say it's pretty safe to say at this point that Nick Walker is not jumping into the Arnold Classic, Nick Walker is not gonna be doing the Arnold Classic 2024 he basically said it a million times until now, but a lot of people were just still hoping. A lot of people were asking him why not. Why not jump in? You know, he explained his reasons, but still, we were very hopeful until the very end, and I was very hopeful until this moment, until this mirror selfie, in which it's pretty visible that Nick is finally getting softer. Now, I'm not saying that he lost his condition, he is still in a very, very good shape, but he is not as sharp, as hard as he was up until recently, right? Like, he is finally starting to get a little bit softer, which is normal, it was supposed to happen at some point. Arnold Classic, however, is happening in 7 weeks or less, so he should be getting harder, he should be getting more conditioned, you know, drier, sharper if his plan was to do the Arnold Classic, but no, no, as you can see, he's finally getting that off-season look. For a more accurate representation of his conditioning, we can take a look at this photo, actually this set of a couple of mandatory poses from five days ago, and here you can see that his conditioning is still really good, but is this conditioning, you know, seven weeks out conditioning, it most certainly could be. I'm gonna show you other physique updates, you will see what the other guys are looking at seven weeks out. So he could definitely get in shape in seven weeks, there is no debate. But he is getting chubbier, he is getting softer. And in this physique update, he looks softer than before. A little bit, he's still in a really good shape, but as you can see, the weight here is 274, so he is growing. This is an off season. And he even says what his goal is, and that's to continue to maximize his recovery as much as possible, to make sure his hamstring is fine again, make improvements where it's needed, where he can basically, and you know, stay in the routine, and you know, he, he's focused on Mr. Olympia, his focus is not the Arnold Classic, and you know, I was unsure until, until this point, I was thinking maybe he's gonna jump in, maybe he's gonna change his mind, last year he changed his mind when they upped the price to $300,000, maybe this year they would increase it to like $400,000 and then he jumps in, anything like that was possibility, but at this point I gave up, I think he's not doing the Arnold Classic for sure. He is making progress, he is getting bigger, he is getting heavier, 275 right now, and he is holding really good condition, but is he getting sharper as the show approaches? No, no, he is definitely getting softer, so what I'm assuming is happening right here. Without any facts, this is just speculation, pure speculation, I believe he is finally going off. He obviously stayed on gear, on a full-blown cycle, after Mr. Olympia finished, then he probably utilized the rebound maximally, and he, he actually took a good advantage of it, he made a lot of progress, but now, you know, it's been 10 weeks since the Mr. Olympia, so he's probably gonna come off of the gear right now, at this point, and stay off for a while, until his body recovers internally, I mean, of course, and then, depending on whether he needs to do a qualifier, or he's gonna get a special invitation, you know, make his plan according to that, and, you know, he's gonna start blasting a little bit later in the year, but that's just my assumption, once again, uh, he could be staying on a full-blown cycle the entire year, I'm just assuming he is going off because of his look right now, it seems a little bit softer, it looks to me like he is going off, but yeah, I think one thing is for sure, he is not doing the Arnold Classic, and that's just it. Like I said, the other guys that are actually doing the Arnold Classic are probably in much worse conditioning than Nick Walker at 7 weeks out. So here is John De La Rosa at 7 weeks out at 255, obviously a lot lighter than Nick, and they are probably similar height, they are both pretty short bodybuilders, but Nick is obviously much, much bigger. And here is John, what he looks like right now, I have no doubt 
that this guy is gonna be in good condition he is coached by Patrick Tour he just competed last year after a little bit of a break and he was second to Hunter Labrada at Tampa Pro and Hunter was at his absolute best ever and that was John's comeback year so he continued working with Patrick Tour after that show after that season and I think he utilized the post show rebound properly he stayed in a really good condition for you know the off season for the in between period so I believe this year he is going to be much improved from last year because he had that uh, rebound period he stayed in shape for longer so I'm just expecting him to be in more, in better condition and also also bigger, fuller, harder. I believe this is gonna be a really good version of John De La Rosa. Still, there are seven more weeks to go until the Arnold Classic, and I'm sure as the show approaches, he's just gonna be getting better and better. And on that stage, we'll see, but I think he's gonna look really good. Next, we got a physique update of another John, and this is John Jewett, who finally decided to stop doing the 212 division. So last year he did a 212 show, it was uh, Atlanta and he won that show, he qualified himself for the Mr. Olympia 212 however, four weeks out of the Mr. Olympia he did the Legion Sports Festival beating Justin Rodriguez and placing second after Charles Griffin by the way, kinda off topic, I just heard a very interesting story about this show what happened in the backstage between Charles Griffin and Justin Rodriguez maybe some of you guys heard it too, it was on Dennis James podcast basically, Justin Rodriguez said to Charles Griffin to fix his pack, and you guys know that he has a pack there and Charles' uh, reply was, fix your whole body which was, I believe, a really good comeback and then also Charles won the show I don't know, there's probably more to the story but I don't know what got into Justin to tell somebody to fix their pack after they had a pack there that was really not nice <laughs> but Charles' comeback was even worse I mean, he told Justin to fix his whole body which also kind of makes sense because there is a lot of things wrong with Justin's physique so it wasn't just something he said out of a blue it actually made sense but anyways let's let's go back to John Jewett so he did this open show right here and he did really well so he was second here at that time he decided he's no longer going to be competing in 212 because his body looks the best in the open he's definitely way too heavy for 212 at this point so even though Legion was only four weeks out of Mr. Olympia and he was qualified for the Mr. Olympia 212 he decided to start his offseason right then and there and this is him right now around 15 weeks after that show and as you can see his plan for this year is to do the Texas Pro of course open division so he's gonna have 10 more weeks of growing than five weeks of pre-prep phase and 16 weeks prep uh, I don't think he needs 16 weeks to prep from this point because he stayed incredibly shredded he's 245 pounds right now which is around uh, 20 pounds over his stage weight in the open but I wonder how much progress actual progress did he really make because look at his conditioning like this is two weeks out max he didn't gain any body fat like he is peeled he's peeled in his off season look at his face he basically has a dead face I was really curious why Nick Walker is staying so shredded in his off season but this guy blows Nick out of the water check out the glutes check out the glutes are these glutes off season looking glutes look at the lower back the Christmas tree the guy literally has a visible Christmas tree in the off season I learned a lot from John Jewett, I love to listen to his podcasts, I know he's really educated, really smart and the progress he's making is very visible, he's definitely the guy that knows what he's doing but this is making me really confused, from my experience I do know that it's definitely better to stay leaner, on a lean side rather than just blow up, get fat, get sloppy you're not gonna make progress if you are too fat, if your insulin sensitivity is horrible but staying desert dry in the off season also doesn't make a lot of sense to me even John Joyd himself spoke about this he literally said that at one point he tried, you know, being in a smaller calorie surplus, not in a large one and he said in these words, he left a lot of progress on the table and I know John Joyd sometimes watches my videos and comments down below so if he's watching this I wish he would tell us, explain us in the comment section down below why is this the game plan right now 
because this is obviously way too lean. I know he doesn't work with a coach and maybe he just, you know, stayed in that prep mindset and he can't even realize how shredded he is, but he is absolutely peeled. Yeah, the weight scale is going up and I think that's what he's focused on mainly, but maybe if he ate more, the weight scale would be going up higher and he would be much heavier at this point and he would still be in good condition, maybe not contest ready, but should you really be contest ready the entire off season? How strong can he really be if he's this dry? How prone to injury is he? I don't know, I, I just don't really understand what he's doing here. Obviously, he looks amazing and I believe he made progress, but did he leave some progress on the table this time again? Because I'm sure he would be much stronger if he was, you know, a little bit less dry and, you know, heavier, bigger. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Look at this. Look at the glutes right here. Like, this is... This is basically show ready. How many guys who compete today have more shredded glutes than this on stage? Like, this is your usual open bodybuilding glute conditioning. And lower back as well. Like, this is way more conditioned than, for example, Andrew Jacked. Right? Like, way more conditioned. I don't know. Maybe his body type is that way that he can stay completely shredded and still make progress. I don't know, I wonder, I wish he's gonna explain this, and then we can, you know, understand it, but very weird, very weird, I don't think it makes sense, but I would love to hear a reasonable explanation. I already mentioned Hunter Labrada in this video, so let's check out his physique update, this is Hunter Labrada right now, and he looks crazy, like, he looks really good. Again, the conditioning really spot on, he's really shredded, he has the fullness, he has the hardness, he looks crazy. And the caption is what I found really, I would say, funny. So, he says that this is his half natty, most muscular. And then on a more serious note, he says, I'm really enjoying this current health phase. I mean, this is, this is Hunter Labrada's uh, current health phase. This is what it looks like when he goes off, I guess. Is that what a health phase means? Or is he still blasting, but it's a health phase because, I don't know, he's taking multivitamin or something like that? No, no, it means that he is off the gear. And this is what he looks like when he is off the gear, apparently. Here is a video. So, like I said, very, very good look. Very good condition. Very good dryness, bubbliness, roundness. Uh, thickness, you call it, uh, it, it's just really good, and this is a health phase, so yeah, definitely not bad for health phase, well, maybe he started his health phase uh, this week, you know, maybe he went off of the gear uh, the past weekend, so yeah, he, he whatever he was taking so far is still in the system, I think that's what is happening here, I think he started it very recently, because there is no way he would look like this if he was off since the Mr. Olympia, at least I don't believe so. In the caption of this post, he speaks about how he keeps training hard, and he's on the regimen, he's eating and everything, which I have no doubts he would be doing, he's a professional bodybuilder, of course he is staying on his diet and his training regimen, even when he is off the gear, but, yeah, once again, looks incredible for a quote-unquote health phase. <laughs> you guys tell me what do you think about Hunter Labrada's health phase or about why John Jewett is staying contest ready in his off-season or whether Nick Walker maybe you think he's still doing the Arnold Classic. Whatever is on your mind, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.